So what I thought I would do is show you an example of how you do um, a assignment problem where you're given the information as a bipartite graph. So what we have to do is do our cost matrix and I'm going to, and I'll do it in pencil, one, two, just so that I can see this. So it is 170, so going across here is 150, and going down here is two, oh, see, I've already stuffed it up. Ah, we go across, so that's 150, that's 260. So B up to 1 is 160. B to 2 is 160. B to 3 is 210. C to 1 is 190. C to 2 is 170. And 270 that way. There is my cost matrix. And you can see you've really got to concentrate to be able to make sure you don't stuff it up like I just did. Okay, let's keep going. So that's step number one done. Step number two, look in each row. In each row, identify the smallest number. Subtract that number from all the other numbers in the row. Step number three, you're working in the columns. In each column, identify the smallest number. Subtract that number from each number in the column. So here, it, this remains unchanged. This remains unchanged. 60, 0, 150. Draw lines, the minimum number of lines. Okay. I'm not finished. Bother. Okay. So what I now need to do is I need to look at my numbers that are not under lines. I need to find the smallest one. I'm going to subtract it from the yellow numbers and add it where the lines cross over. So I'll get 0. Now I'm going to do 1, 2, 3. Okay. Three lines, three columns, that was two lines, doesn't equal three. Three lines does equal three columns, so I am finished. I'm now going to assign, so you have to get that one. Oh, how very lovely. I think I've got one where I could do either or, because I have two zeros there and two zeros there. Okay, so this is A, B, C. So B has to go to 3. So A could go to 1 and C could go to 2. Or A could go to 2 and C could go to 1. Let's see what the cost of that is. B getting 3 is 210. A getting 1 is 170. 170. So that's 210. A getting 2 is 150. That's 190. So 0, 14, 15, 2, or 5. 0, 10, 5, 15, 2, 4. One of those ones that has a multiple solution, and either solution is okay because they each have a total minimum cost of 550.